اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویری گڈ افٹرنون اینڈ ویلکم ٹو دی ایف وائی آئی شو مائی نیم از جمیلا پاکر گلسول کر اینڈ ویل بی گوئنگ ان ٹو اسلام دا وے اف لائف اینڈ کنٹینیوئنگ وتھ دی سگنیفیکنس اف دا ڈیز اف الحج ام وتھ شیخ ظافر نجا شیخ السلام علیکم اینڈ ویلکم وانس اگین وعلیکم السلام ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ شکرا اینڈ تھینک یو جمیلا Sheikh, um, as we're getting closer to um, the day, you know, our, our um, Hajj are preparing for the days and for the day where they stand on oh, Arafah, mashallah. inshallah. And um, it's becoming, a, I think, you know, we feel it because the emotions are really g- g- very Definitely. high. Definitely. And it's just a different feel as we're getting close to to the day of Arafah. Before we, we, we speak about the significance of the days of the Hijjah, and especially speaking of Arafah, um, I want to um, very quickly, as I always do, um, acknowledge the feedback, acknowledge the messages that have come through from our dear listeners. So there was one voice note um, that I haven't played. Um, um, <laughs> so lovingly said, Sheikh, Uh, my sheikh <laughs> but now we get jealous hey eh? because it's our sheikh as well <laughs> and um she says she's looking forward to today's um j- talk like many have said they are looking forward to it and Inshallah. then it says salam sheikh we the entire family and friends enjoy a show on radio 76 where we come uh, we speak about how you explain the hajj we thank you subhanallah alhamdulillah Assalamu alaikum Sheikh Dafir wonderful program you really touch us and very important you let us love our deen more Allah bless you amin ya rabbal alamin and that is so so important Sheikh um you know we mustn't damn people it, we we must draw people to love the deen subhanallah whether you are a muslim or a non muslim so may allah bless you abundantly all like the us, listeners all of us said. all of us inshallah Shukur so much yeah. sheikh yesterday we so beautifully um sheikh so beautifully explained um how we connect when we do the tawaf perfect. it's not just a ritual perfect yeah bismillahir rahmanir rahim alhamdulillah was salatu was salam ala rasulihi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين وبعد اللهم لا علم لنا الا ما علمتنا اللهم زدنا علما وارزقنا فهما يا رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمه الله تعالى وبركاته and good afternoon to the listeners and dear listeners of radio 786 after we praise allah subhanahu wa ta'ala peace and blessings unto our beloved nabi muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam his family his friends and all those who follow him and the jamila and our dear listeners we have reached the climax of hajj subhanallah why do i say this from today onwards tonight especially tonight and tomorrow morning people will start moving to musta uh, mina. mina yes some will leave tonight for the simple reason to avoid the cra- the traffic But however our focus will be on what the nabi sallallahu alaihi have said al hajj arafa hajj is arafa now if you look at that statement small statement powerful words when the nabi said al hajj arafa we find automatically that we connect ourselves whereby Arafah is a certain place. Can never be some other place. Right? Mm. So you must be at that particular place to be able to obtain the Hajj. And that is on Arafah. And that is the day of Hajj. Right? There cannot be a other day. For the simple, I will prove it at the latest stage from hadith of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But before I go any further, I want us to understand also within the context of Sayyidina Adam and Sayyidina Hawa. When they enter the borders of Arafah, 
They made the dua that I firmly believe that everybody knows by heart, if I'm not mistaken. Rabbana zalamna anfusana wa illam taghfir lana wa tarhamna lanakunanna minal khasirin. O our Lord, we have wronged ourselves. And if you, O oh Allah, is not going to forgive us and show mercy on us, then we will be of the lost ones. Abi Adam. Now this is what the Hujaj have said. And remember yesterday, Auntie Jamila and our listeners, the dua that we made from the Maqam Ibra, uh, the uh, Rukan Yamani to the Hajar al Aswad. Rabbana. Yeah, again, Rabbana, take note. Nabi Ibn Adam had not said, Rabbi, O oh my Lord. He said, mm. Rabbana, our Lord. Now, if you look at that, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen that, where Nabi Adam and Sayyidina Hawa came together on Arafah, symbolically, what does that mean? It's our father, father of creation and the mother of creation. Symbolically, they have connected and united the Ummah the day of Arafah. Subhanallah. Because he's the father. Mm. I ask, why did Allah choose Arafah that they must meet there? It must be a powerful message for the Ummah that to come. That that is what Arafah is supposed to do. As Nabi Adam and Sayyidina Hawa have met there, they connected the entire Ummah to that. No. That is a message. Symbolically, they unified the Ummat. And indeed, this is the nature of Allah's ibadat. You look to Allah's ibadat, it's all about bringing people together. And the Hajj, as you all know, is no exception. So we find then when the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi said, Al-Hajj Arafah, the acceptance, the recognition of a Hajj is only valid when the Hajj is on Arafah. Not the other foreshore or somewhere else. In Mecca, in Arafah. That is where the place is. And coupled to that, it doesn't matter how many tawafs you have done mm. or how many Umrahs you have done. But on Hajj, on Arafah, you must have that and you must be there. Now, if we look at that, Andi Jamila, we have said yesterday, ma min ayya, ma min min Allah. There is no greater days by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than these days. Wala ahabbu min al amali fihinna. And there's mm. more, no beloved action, ibadat that you do that is most beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than in these days. Now just imagine. Now the Nabi comes and he says, مَا مِنْ يَوْمٍ أَفْضَلُ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ مِيَوْمِ عَرَفَةِ There is not a better day and a more holier day than the day of Arafah. After the 10 days, he makes that exception. Remember, he spoke about the 10 great days, but then he makes an exception. Mm. Right? And... He afforded us that opportunity, inshallah, on Saturday to be part and parcel and to witness this day. Witness mean your presence not on Arafah. Mm. Your presence you see there is Arafah. Nowadays with your television, you hear it. We are fortunate in that regard. So we thank Allah for giving us the opportunity to be able to witness Saturday the day of Arafah. Mm. And why do I say this? Take another hadith. Man sama yawm Arafah. Gufira lahu sana amama wa sana ba'da. Who fast the day of Arafah. The day of Arafah when the hujaj is on Arafah. The day of Arafah when our hujaj is uttering that labaik on Arafah. Which means the one who fasts on Saturday. And allow me to say not Sunday. Because Saturday 
is the day of Arafah. In Arafah, yawma yakunu nasu ala Arafah. The mm. day of Arafah is when the people are on Arafah. Can you call it the day of Arafah if there's no hujjaj? So when you fast that day, this is for non-hujjaj, right. not for the hujjaj. Mm. Now that is where I come in to say, Andi Jamila, how fortunate we are. And what shall be for you? The Nabi sallallahu alayhi tells us. And he says, your sins a year before and a year after is forgiven. Allahu Akbar. Now, must I still argue? <laughs> this is the day of Arafah, the Nabi says. That if you fast the day of Arafah, when the people are on Arafah, now, why do I mention this? I simply mention this because on this day also the Nabi says, there is not a day that Allah sets so many people free from Jahannam like the day of Arafah. Allah Akbar. Ya Rab. Now look at that. Now picture that entire scene, Anti Jamila. Millions of people are on Arafah. Right? Mm-hmm. Busy with Allah, as we will say. Connecting, connecting. with Allah. In whatever way it may be, you as non hujaj around the world are fasting on that day. Yeah. Just imagine the spiritual atmosphere which you feel on that day. Allah's mercy and Allah's rahmah you feel on that day. No, no. Now looking at that, we all fast on Saturday if those who can, of course. Sure. Hujaj is on Arafah. No strains when we find the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say to us that there is not a day more disgrace to shaitan than this day. Now why? Look at it. Allah set free the most slaves on this day. Mm. You fast on this day, Allah forgives your sins a year before and a year after. The hujat, Allahu maghfir lil hujat. Remember? Yes. Oh Allah, forgive the hujah, they are forgiven. Now I ask the question. This is what happened and supposed to happen on this day. Yeah. Which day will Satan be the most disgrace? Only but on Saturday. Saturday. Right? Not the next day. Sheikh, if I may ask, yeah. you know, when we speak of Arafah, Arafah is the Hajj can only go be on Arafah and there's only one place that Arafah is. Perfect. And it's only a, one appointed time. Perfect. No, uh, from okay. a certain time to a certain time. Right. And from a, and a certain place. Right. Okay. Right? Mm. Now, what, what, what is so beautiful for me is that, you know, we are fortunate today to have all the facilities that we can witness today. Saturday, we can watch our television. Mm. Saturday, we can... You know, you will stream it. We can see it, mashallah. Allah has blessed us with that. So all I'm saying here is that let us utilize all that. And you know, I look at that. Uh, you can feel the mercy. You can feel the forgiveness. Wallahi. Indeed, Allah is most merciful. Okay. And like I said, for an example, the Nabi said, "Yawm Arafah akthar al Ataq yatiku min al Nar yataku min al Nar." The day of Arafah. There is the day that Allah set the, and the most people free from Jahannam. Now imagine. Now I come back and couple to that anti Jamila. The Nabi Salawatullahi Alayhi also said something great. Khairu dua, dua yawm Arafah. The best dua is the dua of the day of Arafah. Now it's not only for the hujaj. You, when the hujaj is on Arafah and you make a dua, subhanallah. And you know, a part of everything here, I must mention this, you know, how blessed we are also because Allah through this dua and various duas, Allah has blessed us that we got direct access to Allah. My slave asks about me, I'm close to him. Ujibu da'wat ad I answer the person that calls me. Now look at that. Yeah, it's the holy day, the day of Arafah, the greatest day. That's so much so if you fast, look what you are getting. And if you make the dua, that cannot be better. 
Utilize it. And where I always say, give Arafah its haq. That is meaning we utilize what we ought to utilize and what we ought to do so that we can be of those fortunate ones that are set free and be forgiven. Amen. Set free from Jahannam. Amen, ya, yeah. Remember what I've said yesterday, Auntie Jamila? Allah wants to forgive us. Yes. Now look at Arafah. There is proof enough from the hadith that Allah wants to forgive us. He gives us all this. So let us not argue <laughs> this and that and that. Let us do it. Meaning, you know, we debate Arafah Sunday, Monday, uh, whatever the case may be. Arafah is when the people are on Arafah. End of story. Let us not go into these things. Because we lose the reality of the situation. And the reality, look what Allah has blessed us with. And then, if it's taken away, may Allah protect. What I mean, Amen. taken away, if we're not utilizing and getting it accordingly, ya Allah. you know, we cannot argue that. We, you know, that is what is important here. Mm -hmm. So, then the Nabi tell us, so ask Allah whatever you need is. Subhanallah. Here is an opportunity never to be missed. And you know, uh, 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 Andi Jamila, mm. I want to highlight also a very important point. I look to Laylatul Qadr. Laylatul Qadr, mm. we all know, the Nabi sallallahu alayhi has encouraged us to seek it. Yes. The last 10 and even numbers in the month of Ramadan. Yes. Which means it is unknown. We must go and seek for it. We must go, you know, I search I, I, for I, it. I search yeah. for it. Mm -hmm. But when I look to you at the day of Arafah, it's known. It's known. I know it's Saturday. Subhanallah. Look at that ni'mah Allah has blessed us with because of the greatness of it. And I come back and I say the date of the night of Laylatul Qadr. Mm. What's happening? The Nazalul Malaika or Ruh of The Malaika and the Ruh Jibreel comes, comes down. But Subhanallah. Look at Arafah. Allahu Akbar. What does the Nabi say? Mm. The Nabi says, Yanjiru Allahu subhanahu wa ta'ala ila samawati dunya. Allah comes down to the heavens. Samawati dunya. Mm. Now, before I go any further, take note. It's known to us. Laylatul Qadr is unknown. The Malaika comes down the night of Qadr, but here the day of Arafah, Allah comes down. Now you tell me, if Allah comes down, and there must be something great happening. Subhanallah. Yaliku mm. bi jalali. You know, as Allah, you know, people will tell us, wow, Allah come down and out. That's, that's not, the Nabi say so. That is Allah's department, how he comes down, that's his. But he wants to, as if, that to me, it's an expression of the greatness of the day. Yeah. That Allah comes down. To who? And then he start to break. Allah. Wa yubahi, says the Nabi, bi ahli al-ard lil malaika. The people of the earth, which is to the malaika, which is the hujaj. And listen, my dear listeners. Then he says to the hujaj, to, to, to the malaika, yaqulu lahum, he says to them, unduru ila ibadi, ja'uni min kulli fajjin amik. Look to my slaves. They came from every part of the world, as we say, a deep ravine, but meaning the every part of the world. Yarjuna mm. rahmati. They seek my mercy. Walam yarau adabi. They don't even see my punishment. Take note now. Ya malaikati. Ushidukum annikat ghafartu ahla arafa. Oh, my angels. I take you as a witness that I have forgiven the people of Arafah. Allah. Arab. Auntie Jamila, 
Look at from that particular angle, Allah comes down. Can we have any doubt about the day of Arafah? Can't. Because Allah comes down the day with the hujaj, He boasts to the malaikat about the hujaj. And if it's any other day, what, who's he going to boast about? <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. So that confirms then that Arafah is known. It's a great day in Islam, the greatest day according to the Nabi. So great is it that Allah comes down to the Samawati dunya and he bows to the Malaika. Subhanallah. And you as a fasting person and hujaj you are guaranteed forgiveness also. Because a year before and a year after. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, like I've said, according to the hadith, prays to the malaika. And he takes them as a witness that I've forgiven the people of Arafah. Now, looking to that, you say, MashaAllah, how fortunate are we to have people from mm. the Ummah of Muhammad Salawatullahi Alayhi on Arafah because indeed they will make dua for the Ummah and a true reflection of Inna hadhihi Ummatukum Ummatun Wahida Verily this Ummah of yours O Muhammad is a single Ummah Fa'buduni so worship me Subhanallah and allow me also to say According to Ibn Abbas, radiallahu an, he says, Da'a Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam li ummati yawmu arafa bil maghfira. That, he says that the Nabi sallallahu alayhi the day of arafa, he made dua for the ummah for forgiveness, for me and for you. Right? Those of us that are not on Arafah, Nabi never forgot us also. Mm. He made dua for the Ummah. فَأَجَابَهُ الله. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted that dua that the Nabi made. Subhanallah. He accepted it. Meaning that he has made dua for this Ummah of his. Yeah. For me and for you. When the day of Arafah, when he was on Arafah, and Allah replied to him, I have indeed forgiven them. Illa, except a zalim, the one who's oppressed, the one that oppressed people. I will take from the one he oppressed and give it what belongs to him. Looking to that, Anjima and Jamila, can we have any doubt about the day of Arafah? When we see all this, hence we find, confirm, no doubt, the greatest day is a day on Saturday. Day of Arafah. The day of Arafah. And on top of that, in conclusion, allow me to say, look at all that forgiveness, then indeed it needs celebration. We celebrate for what? It's attached to the forgiveness. Mm. Look at that, to us. Hujaj are forgiven, the Ummah of Muhammad is forgiven. Oh, celebrate! Therefore we celebrate the following day. Like we in Mount View will have eat on Sunday. Celebrating the forgiveness that Allah has blessed us with. And inshallah, it will be around about quarter past eight. eight. Inshallah. Everybody's welcome. Ameen. Inshallah. Bef before Sheikh goes, um, just very quickly, um, sure. Luqman, if you allow me, right? Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh and Jamila. I certainly agree with the rest of the listeners. Sheikh, you really take us on an emotional and spiritual journey. I have been listening to you over all these more than five years on the show for your information, FYI show. It was also very sad to listen over COVID pandemic when Hajj was postponed. However, I remember thinking of the show, especially the great lessons of Sheikh when I was on Azizia. 
Makkah on the eve of the start of Hajj last year. Mashallah, Subhanallah. Mashallah. It's Hajj 1444, of course, yeah. in 2023. Mashallah. Sheikh and Jamila, I can confidently say, people who never yet undertook this beautiful spiritual journey, journey will not understand and great connection of the heart and soul to the Hajj once you have undertook the Mashallah. journey. Mashallah. May Allah make it possible for Ameen. all of those Ameen. who Ameen. never Ameen. yet undertook the spiritual awesome and beautiful journey to experience Ameen. the Hajj. Um, indeed beautiful Assalamu alaikum Jamila Alhamdulillah and to Sheikh Jazakallah for beautiful program and for yesterday and the day before Jazakallah from uh, Sister Aisha and then just uh, one more Assalamu Jamila one side of the earth has day and the opposite side has night uh, okay now this is a, 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 a question for another day you know when does Canada celebrate um, or look yeah, at Arafah yeah, but yeah. that that is going to take a bit of time mm. so Sheikh we have no time left, but in, I'm going to take 30 seconds of the time, if I may. Sheikh, just very quickly, I'll, I'll, we, we normally end with a beautiful dua, Sheikh. Uh, 30 seconds will be a bit too low. That, inshallah, we Amen. make dua. Allah must grant all khujat, hat maqbul, inshallah. Al-Fatiha. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil mursaleen. Sayyidina wa nabiyyana wa maulana Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Allahumma aktub bi sihhata wa al-afiyata lana wa li'abidika al-hujjaj wa al-zuwar wa al-muqimina fi barrika wa bahrika wa jawwika min ummati Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma rabbana taqabbal ya Allah min jami'i hujjaj baytika min jami'i hujjaj baytika al-haram al بعرفات والمبيت بالمزدلفة ورمهم الجمرات وتقبل منهم يا الله طواف الكعبة المشرفة وسعي بين الصفا والمروة وتقبل منهم يا الله زيارة مسجد النبوي اللهم اجعل حجهم حجا مبرورا فإنهم أتوك يا الله على كلمة التوحيد قائلين لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك اللهم ربنا اغفر لنا يا الله ولوالدينا ولجميع أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم انصر المجاهدين يا الله في فلسطين وانصر المجاهدين يا الله في كل مكان ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين